What's happening, dogs? Mr. Allen here, and we're about to graph this quadratic inequality that's currently in vertex form. Ooh, big money. I love when I get that vertex for free, basically. All right, well, let's get it. That, that vertex is going to be negative 1, comma, negative 4. Easy money, easy money. Negative 1, negative 4. Let me find that on the graph. Ooh, boom, there we go. All right, now I need to find some other points. Why don't I plug in 0? That's an easy one to work with, right? 0 gets plugged in. I get 1 squared is 1. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. And if you haven't noticed, when you're graphing quadratics, there's a pattern when the lead coefficient's one. It's up one, over one, and then up three, over one, up three, over one. But just in case you don't believe me, let's check it out. If I plugged in one, one plus one is two. Two squared is four. Four minus four is, <gasps> it's zero, bro. It did work. I wouldn't have lied to you. I wouldn't have lied to you. I've made mistakes, but I didn't intend to lie to you if I made those mistakes. All right, now. We've got our graph, right? We got our points for our graph. Now we need to graph it. Is it going to be solid or is it going to be dashed? It's greater than, strictly greater than, so it's going to be dashed. Boom. Now I need to shade this thing. Since it's greater than, it's going to be above, above, which would land us on the inside of this parabola. I often just focus on my vertex and I either go, whoop, I'm going to go above. Or I go, whoop, I'm going to go below if it's less than. All right, that's where I look. You can always do a test point. If you plugged in zero, zero, you would see that the inequality holds true. Thus, you would shade on the inside where that point exists. But I like to just go above or below. Works for me. See you guys later. Deuces.